Medyo desperado po ang ating gobyerno when it comes to our economy. Kaya po, ang proposal ng government ngayon is to expand and extend yung mga taxes, mga buwis na nilalagay sa mga online transaction and businesses. Now, this was very clear in a Bureau of Internal Revenue June 1 Memorandum. Ayon sa Revenue Memorandum Circular Number 60-2020, all persons doing business and earning income in any manner or form, specifically those who are into digital transactions through the use of any electronic platforms and media and other digital means to ensure that their businesses are registered pursuant to the provisions of Section 236 of the Tax Code as amended and that they are tax compliant. So as our economy transitions into much more internet or online-driven commerce or e-commerce, the government is also adjusting the way it collects its taxes. But many are not happy with this, particularly because they feel there's another important sector which could make up for backlog in taxes. So sinasabi ng iba dyan is, bakit yung mga online Chinese casinos na lang ang hindi natin itatax more heavily? Bakit ang mga ordinaryong Pilipino ay papahirapan natin, especially in moments of crisis? E ang laki naman ang kita ng mga Chinese online casinos. In fact, Senate Majority Leader Mick Zubiri has suggested that we should instead heavily tax yung mga Chinese online casinos dahil ang daming backlog in taxes at ang laki naman ang kanilang kinikita. In fact, he's suggesting along many other legislatures and experts na perhaps dapat i-reconsider yung reopening yung mga pogos, although partially, since last month. After all, many other businesses in the Philippines are still closed because of the lockdown situation. Total defense naman ang government pagdating sa mga online Chinese casinos. Para kay Pag Court Chairman Andrew Domingo, huwag natin i-overtax ang mga pogos. Kawawa naman sila. Dapat yung mga Chinese online casino na yan, bigyan sila ng space to mature and grow before suffocating them with excessive taxation. At the government also tried to explain na yung pagbukas ulit ng mga online casinos are important to raising revenues, perhaps up to 500 million pesos to help us with the economic crisis that we're facing. Except the Bureau of Internal Revenues has made it clear na yung mga Chinese online casinos have up to 50 billion pesos in backlog in tax payments. At ayon sa Anti-Money Laundering Council, which tries to look at potential illicit activities, lampas sa 54 billion pesos ay pumasok at lumabas dito sa mga online casino industry na yan, but only 7 billion of that kind of stayed in the country. They also announced that there were up to 14 billion pesos in suspicious activities, and almost 140 million dyan sa mga transaction and pogos could be connected to drug trafficking, the very thing that President Duterte promised to fight against. Okay, no wonder many legislatures and experts and civil society groups are very critical of the Chinese online casinos. In fact, last month na, there was a push to ban the POGOs through a new anti-POGO bill by the lower house or the Congress. In fact, one congressman, Mr. Frederick Xiao, calculated that if the online Chinese casino pay their taxes properly, we could raise a lot of funds to support our economy and our government expenditures. Now, this could cover up to 13-month pay of a lot of ordinary people working in the government including public school teachers who have been asking for a 10,000 pesos hike. Lahat yan cover if and only if the POGOs pay their proper taxes. So what Senator Zubiri and a lot of concerned citizens are saying is this. Huwag natin papahirapan yung ating kapang Pilipino when the online Chinese casino, which is doing very good when it comes to their business, could help the government by paying proper taxes. Ako po si Richard Heydarian. Stand with us. Stand for truth.